If you're like me, then you probably have noticed that in the last 12 months, one of the most popular expressions on the internet was NFT. Everybody was going crazy about weirdly drawn monkey pictures on the internet that were sold for millions of dollars. And you might be wondering, what the hell are NFTs? And why are they good or why are they bad and why are they important? So if you're curious, make sure that you watch this video. In this video, I'm going to try to go down into this rabbit hole, but not too deep, to explain what are NFTs, also known as non-fungible tokens, and dig into how they work and why they are incredibly important. But before we go into non-fungible tokens, I'm gonna go into what fungible tokens are or what tokens are in general. Because tokens are a very specific use of blockchain technology. If you haven't seen our what is the blockchain video, make sure that you watch it. It gives you an incredibly simple but uh, easy to digest and detailed introduction to how blockchain technology works and why it's important. Tokens are contracts that are running on the blockchain. A contract that represents rights and obligations. Just like with any blockchain transactions, what you're practically doing is sending data from point A to point B through a distributed ledger that's immutable, that's permissionless and trustless. The important bit is that a token can also represent all sorts of, well, what if logical relationships between different conditions. So I can send you a token, but you only receive it if certain criteria are met. But checking whether or not that criteria is met is not up to you, it's not up to me, it's up to the blockchain to validate what the smart contract is doing. Fungible tokens are essentially the cryptocurrency part of using the blockchain. On the Ethereum blockchain, there are ERC20 tokens, which is a standardized way of creating fungible tokens. You can create your own set of contracts, smart contracts, and you can mint your own tokens that can be used in a very specific pre-programmed way, which is gonna be driven and governed by the smart contract. Non-fungible tokens, are different because while fungible tokens are essentially a revolution of special use money, utility tokens that you can use in very specific ways in platforms and networks and communities, non-fungible tokens are a revolution of private property. What does that mean? Fungibility means that I can take a hundred fungible tokens and I can swap them with each other, I can subtract from them, I can add to them, I can have 99 of them, I can, I can have 100 of them. I basically have a bag of coins. The only thing that matters is how many of those coins I have. When it comes to non-fungible tokens, that means that non-fungible tokens are unique. They have unique properties embedded into the contract. So you can represent anything that is unique. You can represent real life things like a painting, a statue, a, a car. You can represent anything that has a unique identification method. You can identify a car through the VIN number. You can identify a house through their geolocation. If you mint the geolocation or the VIN number into a token, then you will only have one of those. And that is what's gonna be a non-fungible token. The important thing is that, for example, with real estate, in order to keep a database of all the real estate, all the pieces of real estate in the world or in a country and keep a database of who owns what, you need to have a land registry. You need to have an office with hundreds of employees and a lot of overhead. And obviously people can get corrupted and legislation changes how things work all the time. And basically just there is a bunch of red tape because that's how business has been done for centuries. But what happens if you say that I'm gonna put the land registry on the blockchain? What happens is that let's say you take 10,000 different pieces of real estate and you mint 10,000 NFTs, each containing the specific geolocation and the area size and all the other properties of that particular real estate. And you mint it into the metadata of that token. You can create a contract that is capable of minting these tokens. And when that happens, you don't need the land register anymore. The token itself represents ownership of the house and the blockchain as a public ledger is basically the database that is currently being run on the computers of the land registry. And through the advantages and benefits of blockchain technology, since the database is immutable, impenetrable, 
trustless and permissionless. You don't really need to be bothered by security issues because you cannot hack it. Blockchain technology exists, has been existing for about 13 years now, and not a single person has ever hacked the Bitcoin blockchain. And that is an incredibly, incredibly important thing because very quickly, this piece of technology is becoming the most durable and resilient technology that we've ever had regarding security. So NFTs can basically safely represent ownership of things. That ownership can be digital. That ownership can be real. This is why NFTs are a revolution of private property. Another finishing example is that Everything in the digital world is meant to be copied. If you remember the big piracy scandals from a couple years ago, you will understand that copying a digital movie, is that stealing, is that not stealing, because you still keep the original, it's a bit of a big issue or a, a, a topic of big debate. So how do you make sure that something on the internet cannot be copied? You guessed right, that is through the use of NFTs. Because if I mint an NFT and there is only one of that, even though I can send it to you, you can, you can take a look at it, you cannot copy it because you cannot copy the encryption. So even though I can store the ownership certificate of my house digitally and publicly, nobody can steal it from me unless you get access to my private keys to the wallet where I'm storing my NFT. This is incredibly important because we can get rid of any single centralized database that are measuring and handling and managing private property across the planet in, in achieving incredible cost savings while also increasing the level of trust into these institutions because you're basically replacing the institution with technology.